you all for being here. How's everybody doing? <laughs> I'm Vikram Mahadi. Briefly, um, I have lived and worked in Lance County for approximately 19 years. Raised a family here. All my kids go to public school. I'm an occupational therapist. I have worked hard to create at least 50 jobs in Lance County or the, in South Georgia without any government assistance or any bailout or anything like that. I am an American by choice. It is one of the greatest choice I have made in my life by the grace of God. A few weeks ago, you all may know, 13 people lost their jobs in Wiregrass Technical College. Many state employees have not received their aid since last since 2006 or longer. The whole scholarship fund that our good friend team talked about is depleting. Are you all happy with this? No, we are. There's no doubt about it. You know, I believe in my heart. It does not matter whether we are Democrats or Republicans or Tea Party or the Occupy. If we could not protect our young kids, our aging parents, we fell together, and I think that is happening. I believe the status quo and the liking of my opponent paved the path of failure for many judges. I just, you have just heard that, you know, my distinguished opponent has brought a lot of money to build buildings in our locality. You know, that strategy could not stop for the 13 jobs that we just lost. We know school scholarship doesn't pay for books anymore. And, and team voted for that bill to take books out from school scholarship. You know, you simply can't build walls and, and not have books for the kids, for college kids. And you simply can't keep building walls and neglect a cost of living wage for state troopers, for state correction officers, that is simply unacceptable. You know, we met this family. The guy is a state employee, and haven't had a raise since 2006. And he told me he's struggling every day to bring food to his table, and his grandmother is still struggling to make decisions about her food and medication. Very hard wrenching story. So what would I do differently? You know, Bill Cosby once said, um, I don't know the key to success every time, but I do know if I try to please everybody all the time, I'm going to fail. And I believe that's what has happened a lot of incumbents. When elected, my goal will be to find a long-term solution to Hope Scholarship. I believe a reasonable household income gap that already was there need to be reinstated. Lottery cell need to be boosted, and a responsible casino gambling is necessary to boost the whole scholarship. Ethics reform and term limit is the key actually to put the incumbents and to make people accountable. And you know, here is what the thing is. If people don't care about your values, they are not going to be accountable to you. When you elect them, they go to Atlanta and Washington, your values stay behind in the lobbyist and special interest groups value is on their desk. I want to know why should we give him